morning. So I've been using Rome for a few months and I've been uh, accumulating a lot of notes um, and also thinking a lot about different ways of actually dealing with those notes. And to be honest, and there's a lot of really great workflows that people have developed. And I haven't done really a lot of kind of refining of my notes. Um, I do some progressive summarization. I, however, especially the last few months have been extremely busy. So I tend to capture a lot of information through my daily, um, daily notes and from meeting notes, from things I read, from things I import. I read a lot on Instapaper, uh, some Twitter threads, and I try to at least tag them, go back and, and to use retros. And for a lot of stuff, that's actually enough because if I meet with someone that I've got three links about, I just seeing those in the linked references is um, is really helpful and it's, it's really all I need. But for certain topics, you start really accumulating um, a lot of notes. And sometimes that's stuff that you cannot predict. So you might say, oh, I'm kind of curious about this concept. And so you take one note and you tag it and then it turns out super interesting and over a few months or years you might start accumulating a huge amount of uh, notes all tagged with that same high level label and then it becomes a little bit overwhelming uh, so actually tiago forte uh, who is quite well known for his uh, second brain system uh, he was writing this blog post on settle Kasten and how to take smarter notes and he asked on Twitter if anyone wanted to give him feedback and I thought, yeah, that'd be fun. So he sent me and a bunch of other people a Google Doc that he was working on and, uh, and I read through it and I gave some feedback. And one of the things that I reacted to was that he seemed to be really focusing on just what he had read in How to Take Smarter Notes and then contrasting that with his system, which I think is, is really well thought, thought out. But I thought this was a bit of a straw man because there are so many people who have thought really deeply about how to adapt the settle casting system to kind of the modern age and modern tools and even built custom tools um, or workflows and there's a whole community of people and so just kind of contrasting your method with um, Nicholas Luhmann's method I thought was um, was a bit superficial and so I thought well I have all these notes on Settlecast in my room, maybe I can share them with him. Uh, and so here we're on my Settlecast page, and I haven't actually looked at this at all before starting this video, uh, but I do know that we have, so here we have 97 linked references, and you know, these are all, <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Um, and so I thought, well, you know, it's not very well organized, but there might be some really useful stuff here. So the first challenge was actually how to share that with him. There isn't yet a, a good way in Rome of kind of um, exporting your link references. Um, so what I ended up doing was um, actually going and just uh, kind of trying to paste all this into a Google Doc. And it, it became pretty huge. Of course, it doesn't look too good because of this uh, formatting. So there's a lot of white space, but still we ended up with you know, something like 60 pages, 44, 44 pages. Um, and so this is already quite overwhelming and I could see myself being interested in Settle Cousin for a long time. And, and, you know, I've only used Rome for four or five months. And if I've used it for five years, um, a lot of these different topics that I'm starting to collect on now might become similar to this or even much worse. And at that point, it's starting to, to lose some of its, its usefulness. So I was thinking a lot about how to deal with this. And I wanted, I've seen, obviously, it's, it's kind of meta because the whole concept of settle is, um is kind of how you deal with information. Um, and there's also other people who have written about their note taking, their evergreen notes and stuff like that. Um, and it hasn't quite gelled for me yet. I haven't quite figured out my approach. Um, and uh, so I'm still working on it, which is why I would like to process these notes. Uh, but I did come up with one, one kind of initial approach. And I started with um, this page on Wikidata uh, because I've been taking a lot of notes here 
partially because I'm planning to write about it in my newsletter. And so here I had 23 link references. And what I did is um, I, I started adding two filters. So one is just P, which means processed. And the problem with that is if you have two pages tagged with the same, uh, with interesting tags, and you actually want to process it for both those tags, um, if you just use P, that's going to now remove it from both inboxes if you, if you use this filter. So for, and for, turns out most of the stuff I had here really was only relevant to Wikidata. Um, and I can still, of course, link to it, and I can, but I really want to keep it on this page. Um, but for stuff where I really wanted to explicitly keep it in the inbox of other uh, links or pages, I, I, I use this kind of compound um, link. So this keeps the link to Wikidata and it adds just a Wikidata P so I can filter it specifically on, on this thing. So if I, if I remove these filters, um, you'll see all of this again. Like you see, most of these come from my daily notes. Um, so I have an inbox and here's things that I'm reading, things that I find on um, web pages or Twitter, meetings I have with people, thoughts I have, um, yeah, all kinds of stuff. And so what I did was, and you see some of these, um, these numbers, meaning that I'm uh, block referencing them. So here, if I'm expanding, so here I, I try to really, you know, create kind of a, an emerging structure and I can go back and, and work on this. So here's the strategy. And here you see, I've, I've done a block embed of the Wikipedia strategy, some notes I have. Of course, this is one in itself. Maybe I, I decide that I, I become very interested in Wik Wikidata strategy and I, you know, this could become its own page at some point. Um, but for now, that's all I have about it. And at least I can find it. I can see that I have something. Um, here's some of the ideas I have for my newsletter. Um, here's some use cases. And again, I kind of sorted them uh, and then use some block embeds. So there's, uh, you know, Glam Institution, that's museums. And here's a cool way where you can find museums and Wikidata automatically. And so I, I find for me what, what this helps me do is to see what I know. Um, and that, first of all, is, of course, if I want to find that information again, if I want to write, write something in my newsletter. But I actually have a huge amount of, of tabs that I had open and I saved them and I didn't have time to process them. And so I think when I do want to go in through and process them, having this structure in mind will help and, and knowing what I already have will help me decide what is most relevant to capture and you know maybe things i want to look into and stuff so it, it not only is helpful in terms of, of finding information and getting an overview when you look at this page but i help i find that this process also helps me structure kind of my internal knowledge of what do i know um, so i'm gonna now this interface is not the greatest because when you have a lot of links it's a bit tricky but i'm gonna just turn on so i want to filter out this one and this one and now we see that most are gone um, and, and the nice thing about that too is that it turns the linked references into a real kind of an inbox because here we see there's actually one um, linked reference that isn't processed and this is um, it's kind of meta because I'm actually writing that I can filter on this tag um, so this is actually from uh, my tweet um, um, Twitter thread, I think, about this approach. And so if I just take turn this into a proper link, now it's processed. And so, so again, like what, in the future, when I read things about Wikidata, I, I can go in here and I can see the things that are new and I can see how I can fit this in here. Um, another example I did was Evergreen Notes, which are very related to Settlecasten. It's kind of and the Matushak's take on Settlecasten. And so here I didn't have a lot of stuff. I had, um, again, you see I'm using the P and the Evergreen Notes P. So here I only had four references, um, but what was helpful to me was, um, oops, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna figure that out. It was still helpful to me to kind of um, here. So here I tried two things. I did a process log uh, where I wrote down that 
on April 16th, I sorted through this um, and I should really go through. Um, so Andy Matushek has a lot of notes on evergreen notes, written as evergreen notes. Again, all of this stuff about note taking becomes very meta very quickly. Uh, and so I should really look through that. There's a lot more ideas there, but now at least I have some kind of a starting structure. And then a, a big question, this will be relevant for today, is um, I, uh, you know, evergreen notes and settled costs are obviously related um, in some way. Uh, and how should they be positioned? Um, because there's a lot of stuff that people say about settled costs. And I mean, one thing is this, the actual historical things about Nicholas Luhmann. But there's a lot of things that people talk about right now where some people might use the word, here is my version of evergreen notes. Other people might say, here's my version of settled costing, but really that's part of the same discussion thread. So I have to think about where do I want to put that? How do I want to keep it? And even broader than that, um, I have another link called note taking here. Um, I've all, already done a little bit of free writing, I see. I don't remember when I did that, but I have 60 linked references here. And I might even have other links, uh, like notes or note systems, which I, I'll have to kind of look through to find. And, and the tricky part about this is, for example, for Andy Matushak, he explicitly talks about this note-taking system as having you know, multiple stages where you have different kinds of notes and where evergreen notes is just one stage, the, maybe the final stage. And so it doesn't really make sense to talk about, well, so even if you're talking about ingestion, like how you capture notes, that's kind of still relevant to evergreen notes. So anyway, I, I, I might really have to think about how I organize all of these, but um, that's still useful context as I start looking into settle custom. And now I'm going to, so that was a lot of introduction, but I'm going to set my alarm to 10 minutes. And I'm just going to see, because I have a lot of work to do today. This is not my main project, but I find that if I schedule a little bit of time regularly, it makes a huge difference. Um, so I will see how far I get in 10 minutes. And I see here that I've already um, pasted in some text here. Most of these pages I have are empty, but sometimes I've pasted in some text. I'm curious if I don't have his full name. I need to... I do, so I'm going to merge those at least. I don't really like to use headlines a lot. So there's there's some ugly thing I've pasted. Uh, so let's see, I just want the two authors.
Okay, so there's three, so let's say it's books. Because there's not gonna be that many books. There might actually be more. But um I won't really need this link here because it's already on the page. Okay, so now I've, so already this is kind of calming me down and it's looking a lot better. Uh, now let's start looking into my link references, 96, great. So this one, process note so I'm gonna come back and think about this so I can so I can just add some related notes so I can keep thinking about this and then I can have processed and now I can filter on this P and that might be hard to find because I have a lot of stuff here this again this interface needs some work uh, there we go so that's gone with title cards and that's pretty cool so that's okay so we, and I what I love about this um, this hierarchy is that you can really you can have a huge amount of information and you still get an overview so now let's start talking about kind of the concept so let me start just doing high level notes because I will see how I organize this um, dangers let me just keep that for now. Fingers. Pitfalls. And then I can just block and dead this thing. That's great. So then, done. So that's interesting. Um, I know one danger, which I'll just write down, maybe it'll come up somewhere, is um, I can't I guess if I close this interesting um, one pitfall I know is this kind of collector's fallacy I'm just going to put that in manually and I see I have something about it that might come up so that's the idea that you just keep collecting stuff without actually processing it, which is what I'm kind of <laughs> been guilty of. But here's another danger, which is the seduction of densely interconnecting ideas. So I like that. Um, that's great to kind of have those two together. That's that's a writing prompt right there. Let's see what else do we have. Um, right, so this one. Good. So I have, okay, so actually I can just put that in here instead. So we have so we can put that one in and then writing using outlines. Right, that makes sense. So that's maybe um so 
interfaces. I like that. So, in, so interfaces. Hierarchical like Rome. So this is thinking about how you would build different kinds of tools. You could call these tools as well, but I think for now I'm going to see how it focuses on actually the design of the interface. So he talks about Rome and Scrivener. It's also a good, good opportunity to go back and add some more links. So let's see. Um, Scrivener. That's that's great. So you see, this is also linked to note taking, and of course, these two are also relevant to note taking. So in this case, I'm gonna add my custom tag, and here, like this collector's fallacy, I might actually want to put on a page about collector's fallacy at some point. So now I'm gonna find this tag. There we go. Okay, so now I'm basically filtering on P and settle cast P. Okay, so I captured those two points. Let's see what else. So this is just my. So here I'm gonna put another P because this is really me thinking about how I can use information about P to build a bigger theory. Okay. Now, so this is interesting. This is also me thinking about the process um, of how to process <laughs> the process of how to process, um, which is what exactly what I'm doing. And apparently, I had the idea of doing it here. So this is not just gonna take that away. And let's see. Yeah, same thing. I'm thinking about. Wow, and that was two minutes. I'm gonna I'm gonna do another ten because that felt like it went really fast, but it felt interesting. So let's try another ten. Um, okay, this is cool. So this is actually about this kind of approach, but for a collaborative, um, for a collaborative writing pro project. So I like that, but I don't think it's relevant for Settlecast per se, because I also tagged it with Romex, which is kind of my tag for coll collective use of Rome. So I might want to revisit it in that context. So I'll take that away. Here is, so that's interesting. So interfaces as a tools. Rome. Now for this thing, I'll just I'll just move it in. I don't really need to. And that means. Okay, actually. Again, because this is tag newsletter, and so I might want to. I don't remember if I featured this in my newsletter yet, and if I didn't, I also used a p tag for newsletter. So let's see. So let me just process it for several times. Um, well, actually, I can just remove this because I just copied it in. So I don't really, given that it's on this page, it already has this kind of link. Um, so we'll pass with Notion. And here I took a lot. Okay, so let me start by just moving this here and again I'm just I'm removing this link because it's on this page now the thing is here there is a lot of stuff that might be interesting because he's talking about different kinds of formats. 
so this is something where I feel like this might so I think the formats thing is the most interesting part and I'm gonna I'm gonna put that also under interfaces so this is more like the visual format expand that unfortunately um, cool so here it's it's about notion there it's about the format might be other stuff here but again I'll, I'll go back and revisit some of this I'm just doing kind of a, a first spin through knowledge building and, and settle custom so that's just a note to myself but it's cool. So I feel like that's more on interfaces really because it's not something that someone's tried. It's more me thinking about the interface. So I'm gonna say let's bring it in there as an idea and then I can tag this. So I remember this um, being something I wanted to kind of spend more time on and being quite rich. So let's see. So here's how we can easily kind of see what we're working on. So this is kind of theory. And it's definitely worth. So I'm just going to drag this in here. I see that I actually scheduled it for myself and then I didn't end up looking at it, but that's fine. So I don't need any of this. Now I've got that here. Well, this one certainly is processed, so that's fine. Variable schedule rewards. Oh, Connor. So that's interesting. Twitter as a tool. Ooh. Then, yeah, see? So sometimes you, you get one of these things that just has all these tags and you're not quite sure where to put it. In fact, if we expand this, we'll see that this is <laughs> quite a rich discussion. Um, So really, it's there's not a lot of stuff here about subtle casting really. So in this case, I mean, if I'm talking about how to use Twitter, and I have a, a page called Twitter as a tool where I'm kind of collecting interesting approaches people have to Twitter. So I'll keep it there, but for here. I'll just link to it here, so. And then I'll process it for settle custom. I can just Boom. Hugo. So this is another example of a tool. So that's oh, this is not all about Rome. This is Notion. This is Twitter. It's Hugo. And here's Vim. So 
obviously if I want to look at um, how people are using different tools then there is um, a lot to look at and then as a lattice of thought this is a great kind of theory post again one of those deep things there's a lot of really good stuff on settlecasm.de this is stuff I really need to go back and revisit but at least now I can easily find it I'm gonna move this up so it's kind of easier to see. There, that's nice. And okay, let's see what else. Create subtle custom. Okay, I guess I was planning to do that. How do you settle thousand to create lectures? Okay, that's interesting. So that's, I would call that workflow. And, oh, that's a great stuff. So there's maybe here we can make a distinction because we have um, kind of, so we have apps and then we also have um, kind of web web based tools. Okay, so that was the second time. So that was 20 minutes. So I, I got less done than I thought I would, um, partially because I'm talking maybe, but partially because it just takes a little bit of time to, to get into it. Um, well, 72 of 89, so I processed about 17 linked references in 20 minutes. Um, well there's a lot left and you know even some of these actually are things that you know I could spend a lot of time processing even sub bullets um, I also have the, my full book notes from how to take smart notes which um, which I read and I took Kindle highlights and I still haven't gone back and actually done progressive summarization of that so lots of stuff to do but I like this I feel like going from something where I had no overview to at least um, starting to see what what I know, so dangers and pitfalls, I think is, is pretty cool. Um, you know, separating interfaces from tools, and of course, once I read more about some of these, I might take notes and put it on interfaces because that's something that interests me a lot. Workflows, again, that's also related to tools, but it's not um, not the same, and it can also. So here's someone talking about lectures, someone else can talk about, I'm sure there's like writing workflows and stuff. And um, so it's, there's kind of this image slowly, slowly appearing. And um, as I'm adding more to this, uh, it'll, be, it'll be interesting also to revisit uh, these other notes um, I have and think about how this, um, how this relates to each other. So okay well that was what i had time for today i will definitely come back to this page later and i uh, this recording this video was a bit of an experiment so let me know if you found this interesting or not